Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Sunshine Show brought to you by uh, four YouTuber friends, myself, Busy Bee Marie, Maria Crocker and Karen from Geordie Grandma. Pop across to their channels afterwards to see their videos. Hi, I'm Karen from the Geordie Grandma and I'm a 60 year old YouTuber from the northeast of England. I do videos on plus size try-ons, uh, bargain shopping hauls, a few travel vlogs I do some favourites of the month videos, makeup videos. So if you like that, that kind of thing, please pop over to my channel and have a look. And if you like me, you can always subscribe. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Maria and my channel is Maria Crocker and I'm a lifestyle channel. I've recently moved into a park home. So there's lots of home updates coming up and I love doing clothing hauls so I do a lot of Marks and Spencers, Roman and the supermarkets so yeah if you're interested please come over and take a look Hi everyone my name is Marie and my channel is Busy Bee Marie and my channel is all about having some fun so come on over and say hello and you will find some hauls, some vlogs, some travel, some thrifting, DIYs and of course, every Sunday, the collaboration with the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube. Come on over, say hello. I'd love to see you. Thank you for your time. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Well, hello, everybody. It's Good Friday. Happy Good Friday. Well, it's a sunny day today, but it's, it's a funny problem, really, because our video this week was a day out. Um, and I was going to take you to Blackpool Zoo. We've got a, a lovely zoo. Not that I like zoos, I, I don't really, but I thought I'd show it you. Um, you know, it is, it, it's supposed to be a really good zoo. You know, they look after the animals well and protect them and everything. Uh, but it's been raining all week, so it's nice today. So I could take you out today, apart from the fact that I'm going to my brother's for lunch. So that's a bit of a problem, so I thought, I'll have a little chat with you in the car. Oh, the traffic's a bit bad. I'm just going to my daughter's to collect some Easter eggs because um, all the uh, my brother's grandchildren will be there. So she's got the Easter eggs for them, but she can't go because she's having some work done at her house and everything. She's got visitors coming. So um, I'm just going to pick those up. I'm a bit behind. And then I've got to drop a birthday card off for a friend. Um, whose birthday it is today so I don't think I'm going to get to be able to do the the day out but I'll have to tell you about days out round here there are some lovely days out you can go to on the Fylde coast <clears throat> I mean obviously in Blackpool there's the zoo and the tower which is very good Blackpool tower is really good if it's a rainy day and I don't think you have to pay to go in the main part of the tower but you do have to pay to go into certain sections and right at the top of the tower there is, um, you know, one of those um, glass, I don't like it, but it's like a glass floor, um, you know, in a viewing um, area. And the ballroom is absolutely spectacular. Well, I'm sure you'll have seen it on Strictly uh, because they always go to Blackpool Ballroom, but it is beautiful. And then there's, where else is there? There's the Winter Gardens and that's just in Blackpool. Um, if I've chance, I might take you up to Fleetwood after because I don't think I'm going to have time though. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, but there's some nice things to see at Fleetwood. You know, they have a museum, um, which I think it's mainly dedicated to fishermen because it was a big fishing port at one time, you know. Um, I can remember when we first got married which I'm talking about over 50 years ago, but we used to go, I lived further that way and we did used to go and buy our fish from the dock. Oh, I can remember we used to get some gorgeous fish, halibut steak and all that, it was gorgeous. Not anymore. Although there is a big fish, um, there is a big like dockside fish shop. I'm sorry about the sun, it's um, a bit, bright isn't it but I'm, I'm glad it's bright so there's lots of places to visit around the Fylde coast you know lots of little uh, villages that are nice you know Singleton's nice um, and Cleveland's is nice I mean that's not a village it's a town but it is really nice Cleveland's um, 
it's got a really nice promenade. I think it, I'll, I'll try and link some of my videos where I've walked up the promenade in Cleveland because it is absolutely beautiful. And they filmed um, the new Star Wars movie. A lot of that was filmed up at Cleveland on the beach there. And there is a certain cafe up there that's quite unusual. It, it's, it's like a, a round building. And I think they use that for something. So that's another place to visit and we're on the doorstep to the Lake District only about oh about maybe 80 minutes away something like that and you're in the Lake District this is a bit of a nightmare thank you it wasn't red when I came but I've uh, it was queuing up and you couldn't get through so it changed to red whilst I was going through, which isn't well as I got through, but somebody's kind of let me in. This is a trouble, it becomes a bottleneck. I have got a bit of shopping that I need to do. I haven't been able to do it so much because um, I find it difficult lifting the things in and out the trolley. And nowadays, nearly everything self-checkout. Must be a nightmare for some people. It's busy, busy, busy today. Now, where else can you visit on the Fylde Coast? Well, Lytham is beautiful. And Lytham Hall. Now, I'll link that one. I did do a video on Lytham Hall. So I will link that one, if I can, in the description box. And the Cleveland is one up Cleveland's um, coast I did. I'm trying to think where else I've been. I think I did a, a vlog where I went to Garstang because that's nice, a nice market town. Maybe I might be able to include some clips. I don't know if I'm that good to do it because I would have deleted the original ones to free up space on my phone. All the little cafes are open today, which is nice to see. Just going past my hairdressers. Oh, those shops there are closed. I'll get back to you in a bit after I've picked up the Easter eggs. Right, I've collected another bag of Easter eggs from my daughters. Maybe I could turn the video, I could turn the camera around and you could pretend you're on a day out. How about that? I'll do that. <laughs> and then you'll still be able to see a bit of the countryside. lovely. It's lovely to see them all flowering, isn't it? I've brought you to this junction before. Do you remember? It's completed now, thank goodness. But it's where they were building a new bypass. It's taken years. I 
think tomorrow's supposed to be a nice oh no not tomorrow sunday's supposed to be a nice day and then bad again on monday building new houses everywhere. I don't know how people can afford the, um, the price of them nowadays. I got to my brother's I have to say the heavens opened up and he started pouring down so I was this unable to film um, to go anywhere to film for you but what I am doing is I'm inserting at the end of this video some snippets from previous videos I did on Lytham and Lytham Hall and a walk on the promenade so I hope you like that and it will come to an abrupt end okay bye see you next time Look at the beautiful grounds. You can imagine having an outside concert here. It's absolutely stunning, the hall. They do do tours around the hall, but I think it's a little bit early. I think they start at Easter. You can cut it to come in the ground and everything. It's completely free. And you can come and have a lovely coffee or have a wander around the garden center. It's really, really nice. Have a lovely walk in the grounds. Absolutely beautiful. They did do a lot of refurbishing because I know my, my daughter would have loved her wedding here, but um, they were refurbishing it at the time. That's just telling you the cost of the guide at tours. You can see some of the pictures inside the hall. It looks lovely. It's 
it's beautiful there we are can you see i've done my best it's beautiful isn't it I mean, it was owned by the Clifton family, which was a well-known local family many years ago. Um, but um, I think at one time, Guardian Ish Insurance or Assurance bought it, but now it's owned, as I said, by the Lytham Hall Trust. And it's a beautiful promenade and along the promenade as you'll see now there's lots of uh, display boards explaining about the sea life and the coastline and that which is so interesting especially if you've got children i think it'd be a really interesting place to take them um cleveland's it used to be called Ritherham many years ago, and I mean many, many years ago. And it's a beautiful coastline. Um, nice golden sands. Look, here's another of the um, the boards that I was telling you about. Uh, this is telling you all about the um, the bird life and the, and the sea life, you know, under the sea and over the sky. Very interesting reading it, telling you all what go, you know, all the birds and that that are around. Um, and it's something nice to look at when you're walking up. It's a beautiful promenade. As you'll see as you go along, there's like um, lots of pebbles and then it goes out to golden sands. And even um, there's even a board telling you the importance of, of the pebbles. So, so that's really interesting because, you know, it stops people taking pebbles away because they really need it to support the coastline. It's quite um, a windy day today. In fact, uh, it's amazing how windy it is. In fact, I actually did um, a voiceover as I was walking along, but the wind was making too much noise, so um, I, I had to take it out, and I I'm just doing a voiceover now. Um, the tide's out, as you'll see at the moment. I think it's on its way out. Um, it's funny, when, you go, when you're used to a tidal coastline and then you go somewhere that doesn't have a tidal coastline, it seems very strange because we're used to the sea coming in and out, you know. I mean, it comes and washes up all over these pebbles. In fact, in winter, we do get some really... Well, spring, we get some really high tides. Um, so it, it's lovely just walking along here. It's a nice walk and the promenade's really nice. Um, very smooth so it's easy to walk along um, or ride your bike or I'll show you a bit further on when you can see you know so um, that's one of the slipways down um, to the sea here's another one of the boards telling you all about the sea defences um, it is interesting to read them all you know I think they were supported uh, supplied by United Utilities um, they did a lot of work a couple of years ago um and this is the one where i was telling you about the pebbles showing you how, how um important the pebbles are it, it is interesting to read them all they dotted all the way up the promenade you can see the pebbles there's quite a lot of pebbles Quite a lot of driftwood. I think years and years ago, it used to be a forest on here, I seem to remember reading. Um, there's lots of information on the Visit uh, Cleveland's website. Um, I got some of the information from there that I didn't know myself, so it's really interesting. So you've got to give them credit. Mm -hmm.